Hey there, Mr. Cap here. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, comparing linear, exponential, and quadratic models. Um, I actually find this uh, this lesson to be um, kind of review uh, for you because uh, we've talked about linear, we've talked about exponential, we've talked about quadratic now quite a bit. Um, so now it's just looking at you know certain information that's given to you and determining you know which type of model um, it is. So. Um, I, I kind of see this as a, as a review uh, lesson uh, and one that you guys are going to do well on. So this will be my only video on the lesson. So uh, let's jump in and let me talk to you about a couple things here. Um, so the first off, um, these are the three um, um, models and like equations that we're going to be you know looking at. Um, linear um, is in the form y equals mx plus b. So anytime you see an equation that has that form right there, you know it's linear. Okay, so I think it's really easy for you to determine if it's linear by just looking at the equation. Um, pretty easy to look at the uh, the graph as well. Any um, linear line, we know is just going to be a nice straight line, and that's my attempt at a straight line. Um, so if you see a straight line on a graph, you know it's linear, um, and that's the form right there. The form could also be in the form y equals mx right here like that. Uh, sometimes there's not a b if the b goes is zero and it goes right through the origin. So that's okay as long as it's a straight line. Um, a lot of times we'll have a table for this information, um, and again, that's really easy to look at as well because you know you can do a couple things with the table. You can plot the points on a, on a coordinate grid and see if it's a straight line, and that's one of the best ways to figure it out. Uh, otherwise, with linear, you can see a pattern. If there's going to be a pattern in the um, uh, the x's and the y's, as long as there's a pattern in the x's, uh, there's going to be a pattern in the y's, and it's maybe like the x's are going up two, y's are going up three, something like that. Um, um, so that's that's linear. Uh, exponential. A little bit different, this form right here, we've actually studied uh, exponential. Another th thing you can think about when you think of ex exponential, we've talked a little bit about geometric um, sequences. Uh, exponential are the same as geometric sequences because you start off with um, a graph that kind of looks like this and it goes up and up and up. Okay, It doesn't come back up, like we're going to talk about quadratic in a minute, um, but it goes like that right there. And this is the form right here. Um, we have C and then we have one plus the rate to the t power right there. Uh, there is an exponent in here, but it's going to be to the t power, and that's gonna be different than quadratic when we get to it in a second. Uh, but uh, if you remember back to us talking a little bit about geometric sequences, we gave you this form y equals a uh, times b to the x, or a lot of times we said the x minus one power to find a certain number in the sequence. Um, the a was like your first number, the b was the ratio, how much it was going up by each time. Well, if you look at that, these actually compare really well to one another. You have an a, you have a c, the 1 plus the r is the same as the b, the time, uh, you could either say it's time or a lot of times we said x minus 1 to find the, the number in the sequence. Um, but exponential growth, um, really similar to geometric sequences. For example, if you had something that looked like this, you know, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, if you see I'm doubling these each time, so this would be the first number in the sequence, the second number, the third number, the fourth number, the fifth number, and we could keep going from there, but you can see that the growth, it's growing exponentially, it's doubling each time, um, and that's a major difference um, um, from a linear, um, a linear sequence or a linear model. Um, quadratic, the big thing with quadratic, if you're ever looking at the equation, there'll be an exponent in there, but there'll always be a squared in there. There's only one uh, exponent that's in a squared, and that's different if you compare these two, Major difference here is uh, the exponential growth. Um, it's going to be you know changing. It could be a five. It could be a ten. Whatever we put in there, um, that and that's why there's a variable there. We can put any number we want in there. The quadratic, there's always a two in there. And, the, and um, you know we could have this form right here. Y equals x squared. It could be, or we could just have a plus c. We don't have to have the bx there. Um, as long as there's a squared in there like that, we know it's a quadratic model. The difference between a quadratic model. Um, and an exponential model is um, the, uh, it kind of comes back up in, in the other direction. Um, and that's, that all has to do with the squared, because when you square a, a negative number, um, it kind of makes it its opposite. So um, that's really, really important. So a lot of times people will get um, quadratics and exponentials uh, kind of confused if you look at just the graph. Because if we compare, let me just grab a, a different color here. Uh, let's grab a red. If we compare just this part of the graph right there and this part of the graph right there, they actually look pretty similar. So what you need to do is you need to you know go a little bit further 
Um, if you'd like, let's say you have a table um, or you just have, you know, a little section of a graph, you need to go a little bit further to determine if it's a quadratic or an exponential. Um, obviously, it's pretty easy if you're given the equation, but if you're given the graph, just be careful with it. Don't just graph part of it and say, oh, it looks exponential or quadratic. You always have to go and think of what's going on on the other, the other part of it there. Um, so that's, that's the, big, um, the big difference between them. So to review, um, how to identify um, whether something is, you know, quadratic, linear, or exponential. Um, if we're looking at an equation, it's really, really easy to tell because we have, you know, three distinct things. The big thing you're looking for is exponents. Uh, the first one, y equals mx plus b. No exponents in linear, okay? Um, quad, uh, um, exponential growth um, is going to be something like this, a to the b to the x power, that x um, is changeable. And then uh, for quadratic, obviously we have like an ax squared deal where the, the exponent is squared. So if you're given an equation, really easy to identify which one of the three it is. Uh, if you're given a table, it's a little less clear um, in times, uh, but you have a couple options. One, you could graph it and see what it looks like. Um, number two is you could look for patterns that are going on. Okay, so I can write patterns here. Um, you could also... Um, um, I mean, I guess those would be the big, the big two things. The other way is you could try to put it into an equation uh, that's a little more complicated for um, the, the other two. Um, not linear. Linear is pretty easy to put into equation, but um, exponential and quadratic are a little more difficult. But you could put it into equation to find that out as well. Um, and then from a graph, really easy. The biggest thing with the graph is if you're looking at a graph and you're just given this part right there, um, you know, make sure you check this part over here. Is it going up like this? to make it quadratic, or does it keep going on this, this pattern here like this and get closer and closer to the, um, the x-axis there? Um, and that's obviously a big difference between the, uh, the, the two of those. Um, so those are, the, um, those are the things you're looking for when you're comparing linear, exponential, and quadratic. Thanks for watching.